Welcome back, everyone, to the Bears Proper Plays YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, September 5th, and I'm back breaking down a few more plays in the MLB tonight. We're going to be looking at the Colorado Rockies going up against the Braves as the first play of the day, and then the best play of the day is going to be a match between my Nationals going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Four more player props today with the two best player props being towards the end of the video. We also have the home run parlay in the ladder challenge as well. I hope everybody enjoys their Thursday, and let's break down some ball. All right, guys, take a look at this uh, graphic from Wednesday night. A couple games still going. D-backs still playing. Uh, so Josh Bell and the D-backs over. Um, we are not sure yet. 2 nothing currently in the second inning, though, in that game. So a pretty good start. Josh Bell has not recorded a hit. Ailey Bell like Cruz, uh, double in the first at-bat, single in the second at-bat, double in the third at-bat. Three hits in the first four innings as the Reds dominated. Spencer Argetti, uh, Sonny Gray, over 4.5 hits. Did come out at over 4.5, only got four um, out of the Brewers in that game, so that one did not hit. Mets continue to dominate. The Boston Red Sox put up four runs late in that game at the bottom of the eighth. Uh, Rafael Devers over 1.5 bases, not a great day. Uh, did not record a hit again, so I think that's now 0 for his last 28 uh, for Rafael Devers. So he's going through the struggle bus right now, but let's take a look at the leaderboard. 1-1 one, one on the player props. Uh, game has not finished yet, so 64-49 and 49 after the All-Star break. Not bad, not great, but we are looking for a sweep. But we're going to start with the Rockies. Going up against the Braves, the Braves are the heavy favorite in this game, and there's no reason to take them minus 1.5 and minus 145. So we're just going to take them team total over 4.5 as the player. I'm going to play this up to 5.5 because the over-under currently is at 8.5, so I'm guessing that we're going to have to play this at over 5.5. This play is really self-explanatory. We have Austin Gomer back in the mound for the Colorado Rockies, and on the season, he hasn't been good. He's coming in with 4.69 ERA, 1.30 whip, and like I say every time about Austin, when I break him down, he does have a bad rap pitching for the Rockies. It still doesn't excuse him uh, for the horrible pitching over the last several games, giving up two plus runs in eight of the last nine that he's been in and five plus hits in nine of the last 10 that he's been in as well. The Braves against the Rockies on Wednesday night, they started off hot collecting four runs in the bottom of the first inning. So I'm hoping we get the same start in this one with Austin on the mound. The Braves have been a little bit better over this stretch of games uh, because the Mets have been red hot. So they really have no option. They got to start playing better. I like them to score a lot of runs in this game because Austin, he's going to be back on the mound again. He has struggled all season long for the Rockies. If you're looking for a side, I don't think it's worth taking them minus 1.5, the Braves that is, because the Rockies, they can hit the ball a little bit. And I don't know a whole lot about this Ronaldo Lopez guy. It does look like on the season, he's been really good coming in with a two flat ERA, giving up one run or less in four consecutive games. So if you trust him, go for it. I typically don't like taking anybody that I haven't watched a lot. So I'm going to stay away from the game uh, side here. I'm just going to take the team total over 5.5 here as the player for the Braves. Uh, for the player prop on the screen, we're going to take Jorge Soler in this one. Over 1.5 bases usually leads them off on Wednesday night hitting the two-hole. I do think he's got a really good matchup here going up against Austin, who's coming in as a left-handed pitcher. And Jorge Soler this season has been really good against the left side as a righty. On the season, going up against lefties, we haven't seen a lot of at-bats for Jorge Soler, but he does have 15 extra base hits, 246 batting average. He's slugging nearly 500 against the left side. I like him in this game here, over 1.5 bases. Uh, for the best play of the day, we're going to be looking at my Nationals going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pittsburgh Pirates are in the most confusing series of all time uh, with the Cubs right now. They shut the Cubs out in uh, game number two. Now the Cubs are shutting them out 11th and nothing in game number three. These games have been all over the place, and the Pirates on the season, they have not been very uh, consistent with the bats. The good news for them in this game is that they're going to get a pitching matchup going up against Jay Gervin, and the Washington Nationals now have two, two of the worst starting pitchers according to the numbers on the season. I remember the 4th of July, I, I basically laid my life on the line uh, saying Jake Irvin going up against the Mets. I said he was going to throw a no-hitter. He went seven-plus innings, and he only gave up one hit the entire game because that's what Jake Irvin was all about early in the season. He shut down the opposing side. Basically, since that game, he's been absolute dog water over the last several appearances. I have no idea why. He just started giving up way too many runs and way too many hits. He has now given up five-plus hits in nine of the last ten games, pulling his Austin Gomber, and he also has given up two-plus runs in ten consecutive games, giving up a home run in every game but one on this 10-game stretch. Over the last 10, Jake has given up 16 of his 26 home runs on the year, and he's had five separate games giving up five-plus runs. I really don't know what happened to him, but we did fade him in the last time he was on the mound. It worked out really well for us going up against the Cubs, besides whenever the Nationals' backdoor covered us in the bottom of the ninth inning. He's coming into this game with a 4.08 ERA, and while the Pittsburgh Pirates are not the best team in the world, I do think they can easily win this matchup. I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Pirates here on the mind line. Luis Ortiz, he's been a lot like Jake Irvin. He was really good early on, but he's kind of slipping a little bit. However, he has had two really strong games, back-to-back -back starts, going up against the Reds and the Guardians, going six-plus innings in both those games, giving up no runs, coming in with a 3.19 ERA. I trust him more in this game than Jake. So I'm going to take the Pirates here on the money line as the play for the player prop on the screen. 
We're going to be taking the Washington Nationals best player, the shortstop, the leader, probably would be my best friend if we've ever met him. Uh, it's going to be C.J. Abrams, over 1.5 bases. C.J., he has been the best player on this team for two consecutive seasons. He's slumping a little bit, 240 batting average on the year. He's only collected a total of two hits over the last seven games, but I do think he's going to have a good one here going against Luis Ortiz, who has given up a few too many hits over the last 10 games. Luis Ortiz is coming in as a right-handed pitcher, and this is going to be a right-against-left matchup. CG on the season, 33 extra base hits, nearly a 400 slug going up against both right and left-handed pitching. Again, I know he's slumping at the moment, but I truly believe this is one of the best young players in baseball. He's going to get the job done here, over 1.5 bases as the play uh, for the best batting prop of the day. We're going to be going from one cruise on Wednesday night to another cruise on Thursday night. It's going to be O'Neill Cruz this time, over 1.5 base against Jake Irvin and the Nationals. Usually, I would not give out my best player prop of the day with my best pick of the day, but despite Jake Irvin being one of my favorite players in baseball, I've got to pick on him here until he can prove he can pitch again. It's nothing personal. I wish nothing but the best for Jake because I don't want his confidence to get absolutely destroyed going into the next season because we need him next season. But again, He's coming in this game with five plus hits in nine of the last 10 games, giving up at least one home run in nine of the last 10 games. He is a right-handed pitcher, and O'Neill Cruz going up against right-handed pitching is the only time you can take him because he's not very good against the lefties. He does have a 282 batting average going up against right-handed pitching, 39 extra base hits. Everybody knows that this guy is maybe the best power speed combo in the MLB besides Otani. He's going to get a hold of one in this game. He loves the fastball. It's his best pitch to hit. 340 in the season batting average. He's going to see that about 40% of the time in this game. He's going to take one for a ride. Over 1.5 bases as the play there. For the pitching prop tonight, we're going to be looking at the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Miami Marlins. Uh, the Miami Marlins, they've actually shown a lot of fight over the last several weeks after the trade deadline. I didn't think this team was going to win any more games, but they have really been competitive in a lot of these series. They are leaning on their younger talent that they have. A lot of those guys probably shouldn't be playing at the major league level right now, but this is really good experience for them to be getting. In this game, I'm going to take Ranger Suarez. Under 2.5 runs going up against this team because against the left side this season, they're not very good. They're bottom three against left-handed pitching, having a 230 team batting average. And Ranger Suarez is in need of a bounce back start. He just gave up four runs in his last game to the Braves after having a really good game against the Royals. His numbers on the season, they are still pretty good. 3.02 ERA with a 1.08 whip. I do think he's going to find a lot of success in this game with the sinker because the Marlins are one of the worst teams in baseball going up against that certain pitch. Miami only has two total players with a plus run value going up against the sinker. It's plus two and zero. Everybody else is at zero or negative going up against that pitch. So I really think Ranger Suarez is going to shut them down in this game. The only positive I can see for the Marlins is that they're decent at hitting the off speed. They're not the best. I put them right in the middle of the pack according to the numbers, but I think they're going to be in trouble seeing that sinker. I'm going to take Ranger Suarez under 2.5 runs here as the play. Let's go over to the home run parlay and the ladder challenge for the home run prop tonight. I'm going to be looking at two guys I've already broken down. O'Neill Cruz going up against Jake Irvin. It's going to be Jorge Soler to also hit a home run going up against Austin Gomber. Both these guys getting preferred matchups, getting a left against right matchup, which both of these guys desperately need. They both have a ton of power, and I do like the matchup they're going to be getting, especially with Jake Irvin uh, and Austin also having some home run problems in the year. So I love the home run parlay tonight. For the ladder challenge, we are on day number three. J.D. Martinez, he was still on paternity leave. I missed it by one day, and I went ahead and added Marcelo Zuna with Ellie De La Cruz. I know some people probably did not do that. They probably didn't add another hitter uh, because they didn't want to lose the streak. But I didn't see any option to take J.D. Martinez as a hitter. So hopefully you guys took someone uh, who did get a hit or hopefully just left Ellie De La Cruz as the only hit. Uh, but 20 bucks did win 41. So technically we're on day number three. I know some people probably still on day number two or they won like $8 on the Ellie De La Cruz hit. But we are going to keep it rolling here uh, for day number three. 40 to win 80. It's going to be Brian Reynolds of the Pirates going up against Jake Irvin. That one, I'm not going to break it down because I've talked about Jake Irvin a ton tonight. The other play is going to be Marcel Azuna again because I like the matchup he's getting against Austin Gomer. I think the best strategy for these latter uh, plays is just to take the worst starting pitcher that we see and take the best hit on the other team. Again, Austin is coming into the lefty. Marcel Azuna is a right-handed hitter, and Marcel Azuna is hitting 320 on the season going up against left-handed pitching. I love the two-man ladder here, 40 bucks to win 80 as the play tomorrow. Let's go over to the recap graphic. We are going to be looking at the Braves. Team total over 5.5 runs going up against the Rockies. We've got Jorge Soler over 1.5 base against the Rockies. CJ Abrams over 1.5 bases going up against the Pirates. We've got the Pirates on the money line going up against the Nats. Jake Irvin, we got to fade him. O'Neill Cruz over 1.5 bases going up against the uh, Nationals and Jake Irvin. Then Ranger Suarez under 2.5 runs going up against the Miami Marlins. Guys, that's going to do it. For the MLB Picks and Props for Thursday, September 5th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching.